Hey guys, welcome to the Nate Take. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a interior doorknob. So these doorknobs in my house are uh, very old ones. They're original to the home, and they have little plastic cylinders on the inside instead of metal. I uh, just recently had one break, so I'm going to go ahead and go around the house and replace all of the interior door handles. I picked these up from Lowe's. Uh, it's a brushed nickel, which is the finish for most of the uh, metal surfaces that my wife and I have put in this home so far. So this here will match the rest of the house. It'll be much better quality and hopefully it won't break. So this is a fairly simple process. Um, there's just a couple things you're going to need. I'm um, going to need some chisels, basic chisels. You could probably get away with just one, but I'm going to be using two today. Uh, a drill with a forcener bit, which I'm going to show you why here in just a couple minutes. And then a screwdriver, of course, uh, in order to get it on and off because there are screws that hold it in place. And I would recommend a pencil and if you need it, a mallet just to drive the uh, chisel depending on how hard the wood in your door is. So first things first, let's go and open this up and see what's included inside. We have the actual bolt to the door right here, the actual doorknobs themselves. We've got the striker plate that goes on the door jam. We've got a little bag of screws here. And of course the instructions. Don't need those. Okay, let's get started by taking the old knob off of the door. Half of the old knob, other half of the old knob. Here's that old bolt. Uh, for the door. As you can see, that's actually this whole entire piece is just all plastic. Let's take a look down here at the door itself real quick. I'll go ahead and move you in closer. All right, so here's the door after we took the old one out. As you can see, it's already got the hole in it. It already has the hole here on the edge where the bolt goes through. Now, if we take our new bolt, we can see it does not fit in there. Okay, um, so we're going to have to drill that out larger. Now, in order to do that, I made a little guide here. I just took a scrap piece of wood, drilled a one inch diameter hole through it, and this here is my guide to make my bit, to start my bit here in order to drill that out. In order to enlarge this hole here for the new bolt, you're going to want to use a four center bit. It's going to drill a hole that's nice and clean on the sides. We're just going to use this piece of plywood here to guide it. Okay, so the next step in our process is with, with the bolt in place in the door, you're going to want to take a pencil and mark the exterior of your plate here. Now this doesn't need to be a super critical like tight tolerance fit or anything like that, um, but you do want it to be precise enough so it's not a bunch of, it still looks good whenever you're done. Uh, nice sharp chisel here. Hold the bottom of the door. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow this outline here and just mark the wood here. I'm not trying to go all the way in right now. I'm not trying to remove all the material we need. I'm just putting a line around the outside. Now as I'm doing that, you can see the bevel of the chisel, the flat side is on is facing towards the outside of the line. If you do it the other way, then your line is actually going to go into the wood you're trying to keep instead of into the wood that you're trying to get rid of. All right, there we go. Now this here's a half inch chisel. Uh, it's a little bit too big to go around the corners here. I'm going to switch over to a one eighth inch chisel or one quarter inch chisel, sorry, a one quarter inch chisel and just do the same thing around. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our chisel again and we're just going to cut that out, the thickness of this plate right here. So that's, uh, what is that, maybe eighth of an inch thick or so. We'll just keep checking the fit as we take material down until we get to the right spot. Now, one tip real, real quick here, uh, you can take your forstner bit and you can hog out a majority of the material quite easily. You just have to be careful, make sure you don't go too deep. All 
All right, so that's one way where you can quickly remove a lot of the material and then just clean it up the rest of the way with the chisel. I'm gonna do the top side here with just the chisel so you can see how that works as well. I'm gonna take the chisel, I'm gonna go to my marks that I marked in the wood. I'm just gonna hit it lightly. You don't wanna really hit it too hard or you'll run up the door. Uh, best case and worst case, you'll injure yourself. So just hold the chisel and just kinda of give it a little tap. Like that. And you can see the chips will come right out. All right, there we are. We are all set there. So now I'm gonna take our bag of screws. We've got these long ones here that are a machine thread on them. Nice fine thread. Those are gonna be what holds the knob together. And then we have these ones here, which have the coarse thread. Those are what's gonna hold here. So again, slope side facing towards the door jam. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to take this piece here, the one that has the unlock feature on it, we're going to put that through the outside, line it up through the bolt, snug it up to the door, take the other piece, and you can see it has a little square hole here on this side. That's got to line up with the tube on here. All right, so now we're gonna take our two screws that have the machine thread on them, and then a screwdriver. Just screw the two together. All right, so that's gonna be it for this side. Now what we have to do is put the strike plate on here, the new one. I forgot to hit record on that. Um, I already did some of the work here. What I did is I took my Forstner bit, drilled that out so that the plate could actually sit in there because this little spine here was too long in order to fit in the pre-existing hole that was there for the uh, old strike plate. Uh, so I just made the used forcing bit to make that deeper and then fastened this on with screws as you can see the uh, screw holes there. So let's go ahead and put that back on and then we'll try it out and make sure that the door works. Now we can test out our door, make sure that it works. Works like a charm, latch is good. It's good to go. All right guys, so that's how you change out a handle on an interior door. I really like the look of the brushed nickel of the new handles. It's a real modern look compared to the brass, almost brushed brass with age look of the old ones. Plus these ones here are all metal, they're not gonna break. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you found it helpful at all, make sure you like the video. Drop down in the comments if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my content. So that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time, this is Nathan, signing off.